Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's stream. Hopefully, you guys all had a great week so far. We are here to do a Wednesday stream. Um, we are gonna try and do a few extra streams this week for you guys. I apologize if you guys hear the sirens. Uh, obviously, the fire department's right by me, so I apologize for that, guys. But today we got a pretty good stream. We're gonna show you guys uh, some pretty cool products. Plus, we have a new product that I'm gonna actually unveil today on stream for you. The first one is by Govi, of course. You know, we love Govi products. We thank Govi for always sending these awesome products to us. This first product is their Govi 65 foot RGB IC LED strip. Now, this is 65 feet long, so it's in dual bundles. So you'll have two uh, round strips uh, sets. Uh, they do come in 64 scenes, so you can do 64 scenes of colors and changes yeah i am here i am actually going to be doing a few extras this week so i will be here today tomorrow friday and probably saturday ah yes amazon yes we are on amazon we are a multi-streaming platform so we are on a lot of platforms streaming a lot there are multiple of us doing it <laughs> so the first product guys like i said is from govi this is a cool product uh if you guys know govi you can actually use any of their govi products and they have a home app that can control all those products in one setting this is 65 feet dual roll we're going to open this up live on stream here i have just got this i have not even opened it so we're going to kind of show you guys what it gets in the kit inside is the user manual which is very very cool uh, user manual guys if you really need it it's here pretty simple shows you how to connect it use it and all that good jazz uh, I don't need it because I've used enough LED products that I know I won't need it so inside here is the power brick as you guys can see I have a few questions about this kit kit right off the bat and there is why is the cord unplugged or already plugged in so, the power brick, guys, you have plenty of length for the power brick. Unfortunately, with this kit, you actually have the big brick to go with it. Not a big deal, but, you know, plenty of cord. Just make sure you have the round plug for the round side. Uh, yes, Mrs. Dragon Blogger is in chat, guys, if you guys have any issues. Second part that comes with the kit, guys, is two sets of the RGB strip lighting. As you guys can see, right here it is all connected to the dash. And uh, me and Justin are going to have to have a talk a little later about this kit. So the kit, guys, has a controller for itself. If you guys need the controller, it also has 3M adhesive tape. And as you guys can see, the 3M is already off the back. Two rows, 65 feet, 64 scenes, uh, 15 sections of colors, guys. So you can change multiple colors. The RGBIC, um, actually, we have a cut chunk in here too. RGBC means you can actually change the colors in segments instead of uh, like RGB, where the whole strip is one color. So. Yes, yeah, Sunday, they, Mrs. Dr Mrs. and Mr. Dragon Blogger do theirs. And we do multiples on other days. So, 3M adhesive on the back. And I have chunks of strips falling on me everywhere. So, I will actually show you guys a chunk of this. To use this, just clean the back path. Then pull and peel, guys. You can actually cut this strips in sections where the copper is shown. But just make sure you cut it at the copper. So... Uh, Logie. I'm not sure what app that is. All in all, a very decent product, guys. At $57, you can, can strip your whole wall, your whole house. And then the app is a full app. And I'll show you guys that kind of if I can. We'll load it up right here. And we'll pull it up. I actually have a strip on my desk, so we'll actually pull this up. 
inside here is where you'll actually change your coloring and all that good stuff. The Infects Labs will turn this on. Let's see if we can show you guys this. So, yeah, pretty cool. Several scenes. You guys can change the scenes if you guys really need. Multiple regular colors. If you want to stay there, then you have your 15 segments where you can change all the coloring and segments, which is very, very cool. I love that you can do that. You can do it in like uh, uh, music mode where if you're talking or the music, it'll actually flash to the beat, which is also very cool. Now, this is a Bluetooth device. So, guys, everything in here is very cool. If you guys have any questions about the, the Govee product, let me know. I will be happy to answer anything about that product. I've actually had hands on. I got seven or eight sets down here of different Govee products. So... Yeah, I, I had different sets under my desk, and then we got the Govee set. Now I actually have, I think, about 40 feet under this desk, all taped up under there. <laughs> so it is actually very, very bright. But a great product. I have no problems with any of the Govee products that I've uh, tested so far, which is amazing that a product line is that good. I mean, you always have a product line that sometimes there's a product in the product line that just isn't up to standard with the rest of the products, but every Govee product I've tested so far has actually been very phenomenal. The 32 foot Bluetooth strips with the 16 foot Bluetooth strips so that they all work on one instead of having to control them. So, so the app, inside the app, if you guys know the app, the Govee app can control it all you just enter sync it in the app and they will all work together. Yeah. So that's why they have the app that works all their products, including their meat thermometers. As you guys can see, I have them. Well, hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, meat thermometer I have in there. It can control the desk lamps, the tall lamps, uh, the separate little light bulbs that screw into your lighting. It can run pretty much everything. They should be interlinkable, yes, but can you? You have to all have the separate power bricks, so that's your only downfall with that. Uh, any other questions about that product? Let me know. Yeah, they so they do have multiple types. So if you want it with the Alexa support, you actually have to find one with the Alexa support. Um, pretty much, now my TV's starting to talk to me. Pretty much the app is why you don't need it. I don't use Alexa that much except for my TV. So that's the difference with that. But there are some that support it. There are some that support the Google, uh, is it Google Home or whatever, Google Voice. So you just, it's a hit or miss. Hey, good morning, Allison. Good morning, Evans. Now, guys, one thing I'm going to mention is, is we are doing a giveaway for two $5 gift cards, and I will actually post the link in chat. So make sure to enter. We are doing that at the end of the stream. So I will be giving away two of those, guys. So if you have any questions, there you go. So again, now we're going to be moving on to the next thing that's actually on my hand. Uh, just there's a small moderation needed in Twitch chat. Uh, what's wrong with Twitch chat, buddy? I don't have Twitch chat up. So I can't do it. Justin's actually working. So give me one second. Um, hold on guys. Dealt with. Sorry about that. I actually did it. So Justin should be good. <laughs> hey, Jimmy L. Uh, so the next product guys, we're going to swap over to, this is for Amazon. This is their Amazon Halo View. This is their little, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a smartwatch or health watch. 
But as you guys can see, I actually have it on my hand. It is very, very cool. You move it, it turns on. I love the green color. It does come in several colors. Uh, what do you mean the green tick? Not really sure about that. Uh, inside this, you guys, you get 12 months of the Amazon Halo uh, app, uh, which is very cool. So when you purchase this, it gives it... Uh, oh, the green check mark. Uh, it should be? Not really sure. The Amazon Halo app, guys, connects to your phone. It can actually show you, like, recipes, which is... I will actually pull this up. It can show you your healthy daily activities, your recipes, guys. It'll show you, like, activities you can do to uh, better work out. It can show you workouts and all that. Now, this can actually... I'll pop this off, which is very cool. So on here, but if you flip it over, it can actually track your blood pressure, your oxygen level with that sensor. Just make sure it's nice and tight on your wrist. That way it's it's actually got to be pretty tight to read the oxygen level, but the blood pressure, it reads it phenomenally. Yes, it does do heart rate now, actually kind of 84 uh, beats per second right now. So, or beats per minute. Yeah, it does heart rate. It does... Points, steps, it does uh, sleep activity. It'll keep track of your sleep and tell you when you're in REM sleep or when you're in deep sleep or if you're just in light sleep or if you've been uh, woken up. It shows you, it'll keep track of your patterns, keeps track of your steps. It keeps track of uh, pretty much everything you need to know, including oxygen. Uh, is there a discount right now? Not that I know of, no. But... If you keep track, they sometimes do post it, but since it's an Amazon product, not that I know of, no. Uh, for $80, I think it's worth it, but yeah, sometimes it does go on sale. I think we got it slightly cheaper when we bought it. It's actually a pretty cool product. I'm actually liking it. I use it to keep track of my sleep because I do not sleep very well. The only downfall to this product is, and I'm going to show you guys this, and that is the charger, right? You have a USB charger, but to charge it, it's a clip with four metal prongs. And I don't know if you guys can see those prongs. So you actually have to clip on the watch down here where those little metal prongs are to actually connect it and keep track of it. Yes, you can send and receive. Uh, I believe you can read them. I'm not sure you can send them. I have not tested text messages you can answer your phone with it and stuff. So you can do that. You can change your music and all of that. I don't know about sending text messages. I mean, it is a small screen. So you might be able to talk to text. I'm not really sure. That's one thing I have not tested. I pretty much use it for just everything else. But the charging thing, I mean, that's one drawback for me is I got to clip it in. I would love to have it be able to have it like a wireless charger or uh, just a plug-in clip or just set it down on a base. The clipping it into a four metal prongs just is, is the only drawback to this product. So if you guys have any other pro uh, questions about this product, please ask. How much power or max ch uh, charge? So it is a five volt charge. It can actually on a full charge, it'll last about seven, seven and a half days before you charge it again, which is pretty good for a chargeable watch if you use it a lot. I'm gonna take a sip of water. I'm still fighting a sinus infection, guys. So if I start coughing, I apologize. The sinus infection is just not going away. Uh, that is, uh, you should be able to just enable cookies, uh, right when it pops up for the gleam. I don't know the particular Mrs. Dragon Blogger might be able to ask Justin since she's in the house with him. So anyways, about the Amazon Halo watch guys, this is actually probably going to end up in a mystery box at some point. So we may give this away. <laughs> if it's something you guys would like. So I've actually used it enough to know that we could probably give it away at some point to somebody that 
might be able to use it a little more than me. But you'll actually have to pay for the service, which is like $4 or something like that a month. Because I have the free service and I have to discontinue it on my app. So any other questions about the Amazon Halo View? I'm going to chuck it aside and I'm going to grab my real watch. <laughs> Let's put some real gold on. There we go. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, it, sometimes it happens. Uh, just it's a little one of those ticks. We've had it happen uh, several times. Yeah, you should be able to just click through it. It usually should pop up, say, uh, uh, disable cookies. All right, the next product, guys, is from Amazon. Also, this is their Amazon uh, Fire TV or Omni TV. This is something I actually have in my house, but first we're going to talk about the remote for it. It does have a remote. It's got the four basic apps down at the bottom, Amazon Prime, Netflix, Disney Plus and Hulu, right? You can also click into TV Guide, volume up, volume down, channel up, channel down, play, pause, skip, and forward, home, and then settings. Also has the Alexa button right here if you guys need that, plus OK and round, or power. But the difference between the Omni and their regular 4K is this. Alexa, turn TV on. I can legitimately just talk to the TV without the remote and it'll turn it on. Alexa, load Disney Plus. And it will load Disney Plus in a second. There you guys go. Alexa, load Amazon Prime. Now, since this does this, this also has a few other things. Uh, that is not on me. I don't know how to do that. So if you guys go into settings, the settings will actually tell you what, uh, you know, like your resolution of it. It will automatically detect if it's uh, UHD or high depth or 4K, which is very, very cool. Now, the one thing this TV does that most other TVs doesn't is you can actually hook up a web camera to it. With the web camera, you can actually video chat with your friends on the web camera right on the TV. You could do that with like Zoom and a few other apps that you have to install. They do suggest that you use a compatible uh, web camera. Some of the compatible web cameras is like the Logitech C920, the C922X Pro, and the Logitech Brio, and a few of the others, I believe probably the OBS bots that we'll be showing and the AV Media camera should be able to be uh, used on there. All in all, a very phenomenal TV. I've had no issues with this TV so far whatsoever. If you guys don't want the uh, the app listening or the TV listening to you, on the bottom is a little switch that you can shut it off and it will stay off until you switch that switch back on, which is actually rather cool that it can do that compared to having to go into the settings and turn it on and off or say, Alexa, turn TV off. Or, you know, Alexa, quit listening to me and stuff like that. Alexa, turn TV off. And just like that, you can turn it off. Now, if you guys want to adjust the volume, like you just say her name and then say like 30%, 40% or wherever you percentage you want the volume and it will actually adjust that back and, back and forth. It does have four HDMI ports. Three of those guys are just normal HDMI ports. The fourth is eARC, eARC, which is uh, kind of cool. I uh, issues uh, with the the entering. Okay, as long as the stream is okay. <laughs> so the eARC, eARC is for like your uh, sound bars, your home theaters. It will do a in and out, so you can actually get the sound into your uh, home theater while also playing the DVD onto the TV which is very cool. You also have a USB port. You have a, a RJ45 or RJ, yeah, 45 or 11, whatever. Uh, RJ45 for your Ethernet port. And you also have Wi-Fi if you guys need the Wi-Fi. I use an Ethernet port to make my TV faster. Now, there are some ways around to make it faster because most TVs, uh, their uh, 
RJ45 and their Wi-Fi is stops at like 100 megabytes. So if you have higher speeds, you can get like a USB dongle to plug into the USB and that will bypass that and make it smaller. Yeah, it just probably, it may be just on her end. Any questions about the Amazon TV, please ask, guys. It does come in several sizes. So, uh, good morning, buddy. Welcome to the stream. So, if anybody has any questions about the Amazon TV, OLED, uh, no. I don't believe it's OLED. One second, I will actually tell you. I believe it's just LED. That's a good question. It's just LED. I wish it was OLED or Nano LED or QLED, but it's still very bright. I, it's a lot brighter than my last TV. It's actually a lot brighter than my neighbor's 4K and theirs is OLED. So it's not really a big issue. It also has a memory size, I believe, uh, like 32 gigs. So, guys, if you're downloading apps, it's, you can download a pretty good amount. If you guys need more space for it, yeah, it's just direct LED. Yeah, it's not OLED. So, if you need more space, just plug in a little uh, a USB stick onto the USB uh, port, and it'll actually expand your space. So, if you need that, it can do that. Yeah, any other questions? <laughs> if not, we will move on to the next product. The next product I've been playing with in the house for a little bit. I planned on getting it outside yesterday. It sounds great. It's actually, that TV is phenomenally loud. Um, I'm not sure how I could test the sound while showing it on stream right now. So the sound is actually pretty decent. It's pretty, it's pretty good. You can actually adjust the sound in it like most TVs. Now I do want a home theater for it. So I want to go bigger, louder. I would like uh like a 12 inch uh, sub connected to it with the sound bar or something. Uh, there's a few companies out there that me and Justin have been looking at that we would love to get a hold of, but we are checking and watching. Uh, any other questions? Yeah, I, I love the TV. I have no problems with that TV. There have been a few people that have uh, mentioned that they don't, they just don't like it, but I think it's actually for the price range. It's a very good TV. I mean, 65 inches for like 600 bucks and it's 4K plus it's a smart TV plus it's you could talk through it. You can video chat on it. You can actually game on it. I tested gaming through the Amazon Luna. That works fine. I've actually tested a few little smaller games on it with a controller and it all works well. There's not really a lot of lag when uh, gaming, but if you're going to use higher intensive games, Use like the Amazon Luna app or, you know, stream share like Microsoft or stuff like that. So the next product, guys, is from Holy Stone. Yeah, we are giving away stuff today, so make sure to enter. We're giving away two $5 gift cards today. So now the next is the Holy Stone HS360 drone, guys. This is a GPS or follow drone. This is uh, for 16 and up ages. but you know, if your kid is 12 years old and can learn it, I'm sure they can fly it. The cool part is it comes in a killer carrying case. Nice shock case, guys. It is not waterproof. So just remember that this case is not water waterproof. Just be careful of that. It has a nice zipper inside the zipper, guys. You pop it open. Inside here, you'll actually have four extra propellers, the charging cable, a screwdriver, and a whole set of set screws for the propellers. All the propellers are labeled uh, A or B or B2, so just remember that. Now, if you guys are using just the controller, the instruction manual will walk you through how to use it adjust the controller. 
If you guys are wanting to use the app with the controller on your phone, the app will teach you how to use the app or the little manual will show you guys that. Now, another thing is, is I'll actually pull this out, trying to do this without breaking this. You have 46 minutes of flight time between the two batteries. So you get two of these batteries. They nice slide in four prong or if you charge them USB-C. It does take quite a while to charge these uh, these batteries, but they do indicate they will flash red, green, and then will go straight green when fully charged. So you get two of those batteries. Then you get the drone. The drone is foldable, guys, but it has a two-axis gimbal with 4K photo or 2.5K video. I believe it like 30 frames per second, which is very, very good. The axis and it will it can move. You have about a hundred, I believe it's 108 degrees of field of view plus 90 degrees up and down. Opening the drone, just open the top first, right? Open the bottom just like this. Top first, bottom last. That way it opens. You will actually have red in front and green in back, or it's green in front, red in back. I can't remember. Actually, you know what? Check this out. We'll power it up. So green in back means it's flying away from you. Just remember that. Red in front means it's a it's it's the camera's pointing at you. So it does give you kind of an indication of light. You have the dual propellers on each one. These are brushless motor. The brushless motor is great because they don't overheat as well, but they also have more power to fly higher and faster. I love it has a brushless motors, four independent brushless motors, which is very, very cool. Now we're going to power this back down. Actually, you know what? We will actually leave this powered up because if I can, I will kind of show you guys this in a second. So we're going to set the drone down. If you need to pull the battery out, right, just pop it right here, slide it out, and all that good jazz. <laughs> it's actually a very cool drone. Uh, we had snow yesterday when I planned on taking it up, and this weekend I was going to take it up, and now we have like 18 inches of snow coming with 30 mile an hour winds. So it kind of in a little shadow of not being able to get it up. <laughs> I apologize, guys, again for the coughing. It does make a great gift, and I guarantee anybody can learn to fly this, this drone. Just make sure you have a big enough area to test flying it in. Make sure you're away from airports. Make sure you're away from, like, military bases or, like, uh, National Guard bases, police stations, and stuff like that. Because the radio signals will, can, or will interfect uh, or affect your flight. You can get flyaways that way. So the controller, you got a full controller, right? Dual antenna, you pop it up, swivel it, pop it up, swivel it. Just like this, dual antenna. This is 5 gigahertz, which is cool. You have a power button. The left and right joysticks have a nice little sharp indicators to keep your fingers on the... Oh, there is a 20% coupon. That is actually a good deal then. So at $269 with 20% off, that is a phenomenal deal. Powering it on, guys. Just power it on. You have a nice large indicator screen. I know that you may not be able to see this uh, because of the lighting or the camera. But it tells you everything. You can do the follow home, one touch landing and fly away or takeoff. So it does have one touch landing and takeoff. You also have return to home. You also have follow me uh, indicators. Scroll indicator, uh, camera, if you press it once, it's camera, long press video, uh, long press on top is uh, slow, and uh, or short press is low, high, long press is high, which adjusts the motors to lower high power. Then if you want, guys, right down here, slide down the bottom, right? You slide it down, uh, correction, not 20%. Uh, let me guess, $20 off? <laughs> yeah, still a good price. This is where you'll put your phone in here, guys. It will fit up to a six and a half inch screen. May or may not fit your case. So just remember your case may make it too large. 
Now, now that I have it all powered up, I'm going to leave it powered up. It does take four AAAs in that controller to run, so you will need AAAs. I wished it was a rechargeable controller, but it's not. Now, we're going to grab the HS Fly app, right? The Holy Stone Fly app. Pop it open. This is where you'll learn everything for the digital flights. You can actually click media. It'll show you your videos or it'll show your photos. If you guys insert, always make sure to insert the micro SD card right down there to save your stuff. Just in case this loses connection, it will save it. If you hit controllers or learn to fly, if you want to learn to fly, it will actually tell you instructions on how to learn to fly it. It'll show you the quick learning guide of the drone itself or game play tutorial. I'm not really sure what gameplay tutorial is, but if you guys want to learn, this shows you everything the controller can do plus this app. So on the app, you can do return to home, multifunction, hand gestures. You can do camera filter, waypoints, uh, hand gesture, again, for uh, high five victories and stuff like that. Point of interest, VR mode, GPS follow, or image. You also have the GPS signal plus all your Wi-Fi signals. So what this can do is, is a point of interest. You do a point of interest. You stand there. The drone will fly itself in a circle while taking a picture straight down at you. If you want to do waypoint mode, it pulls up the map. You set up like a GPS waypoint. It'll fly itself there and back. And the cool thing is it has an indicator. So if you lose like battery, your battery starts getting low, it will fly back home and land. So inside here, that is the app itself. It's gonna connect, it'll take a few minutes to connect because everything's just sitting over here. But you have the map, pull up Google Maps, and then you can do your uh, waypoint. If you don't want Google Maps, just do that. So I'm not sure why, since I'm not picking up, I think I forgot to connect up the Wi-Fi which is probably what I did. So one second, guys. So to use the app, remember, guys, you got to pull your Wi-Fi down, grab the Holy Stone uh, drone, pop back, go back into flight, grab controllers, and now we should be loaded. We are waiting for GPS signal. So internet may not be unavailable. Connect. Uh, always connect. Now you guys can see the camera. It's actually pointing at my desk. If you guys want to see my computer, like there is the computer showing indications. You guys can see all the recording stuff or the camera up top. So the camera's very good. To do this, let's pop up all this. Let's say we want point of interest. It pulls up the map, and now you start connecting, I believe it's like five or six points of interest to flight. Then click go, and the thing will take off and fly and do what you need. All of it's very cool. It also has take off and land or return to home right in the app. So if you guys have any questions about the app or the drone, please ask. I will, I will be glad to answer as much as I can if I can. Just remember, I'm still learning this drone, so, hey, Shirley. So, I am still learning the drone. I will be flying it at some point, hopefully in the next week or so. I had planned this week, but you know how the weather goes. So, folding it back up, just remember, bottom first, right? Then the top. Bottom first. Make sure the propellers. Top. Very easy, very simple. And then fits right back in the case. It's like that. I love to give you the case. So if we have no questions about the drone, oops, I actually just broke my box. I had Sydney. Oh, we will move on to the next product. The next product I've used for about a year or so. And this is from Avier Media. This is their, I believe it's the P315 or Cam 513. My bad. Cam 513. I had to think about that. 
This is their 4K uh, camera. This is a web camera. This camera is phenomenal. It is uh, a little higher price. It's, I believe it's like 159 right now. But it is 4K. It has their cam app. It just a very phenomenal camera. As you guys can see, very large camera. It does have dual omnidirectional microphones, which work very good. It is a USB-C charger or plug, so you will need USB-C. You can actually get a USB-C to USB-C if your PC has USB-C, or USB-C to USB 3.0. It has a screen protector, so you can put it up and down to block your camera if you really need. This camera I used for a lot of my videos. If you guys have seen my videos out there, I've actually used it for a lot of the videos. So this does do 60 frames per second. Uh, it will not do, I believe, 60 frames at 4K. I cannot remember off the top of my head if it was that. But the base is a 360 swivel base, guys, right? And the base can actually fit over your monitor. And I will kind of show you guys this. The base clips down. Clips over the monitor. You have the little clip. It's all rubber inside, so it will not scratch anything. If you guys want, you can actually put it on a tripod also, which is actually pretty much the better way to go with that. To me, that's the way. So at 4K, it'll do 30 frames per second, or 1080p, it will do 60 frames per second. It has a 94 degree field of view, if I can remember right. It is a fixed focus, though. So, but you can adjust the video settings, privacy shutter, AI power technology, which just, you know, it's uh, certain things for the AI. Uh, any questions about this camera, guys, please ask. It's an omnidirectional dual microphone. So it has dual mics, omnidirectional. It works very, very well. Uh, at the, pro the time when I got it, it was a lot more. But if you are looking for a killer streaming uh, camera, this is actually a very good camera. So uh, we have kind of moved away from this camera. I have a few other cameras on this uh, stream that I will show you guys that I am actually using more of. So I am debating, and I'm going to tell you this, I'm debating if I want to give this away or not, or... If I'm going to keep it. So we're we're up in the air about giving this one away. Just because it's such a phenomenal camera. And I like to compare it with the other cameras. But guys, make sure to enter our $5 giveaways. We are doing two. Is it better than Logitech? Uh, depending on which Logitech you're talking about. If you're talking about the C922X Pro, no. If you're talking about like the Logitech Brio, it's pretty comparable. So. It's, it's uh, very comparable to the Logitech Brio. Yeah. That would be the Logitech Brio, I believe, 4K. So, yeah, it's very comparable. Um, it has an app. If I can, I'm not sure I can show the app. But it does have an app that you can pretty much do everything like the Logitech app will allow you to do. So, yeah, it's a very phenomenal camera. Uh, any other questions about it? Did you know their new camera out? Uh, what new camera? I'm not sure what camera you're talking about. Uh, you mean the Obsbot 4K? Or the Obspot uh, Tiny, because there's the Obspot Tiny PTZ, and then there's the Obspot Tiny 4K. If you're talking about the 4K, that is actually the camera that you're seeing me from. The Tiny 4K is what I'm using. You're actually seeing me from the 4K. <laughs> we'll actually jump to that. We'll jump to that camera in a few. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. I can definitely move. You mean like that?
Um, we will actually talk about that in a minute. So the next camera is one that Justin and Justin's wife, Mrs. Dragon Blogger, uh, use on their Sunday streams. And that is the Sony ZV-1, guys. If you guys need a nice camera for digital content for like streaming or picking up your products, the ZV-1 is a very phenomenal camera. And we're going to kind of talk about this, what it can do, what it can't do. So like it's 4K HDR video, guys. It is a touchscreen display. It actually has a few of the qualities of very nice uh, Sony Alpha cameras, but it not being an Alpha. So it does have a fixed lens. Inside the fixed lens means that you cannot change it like the Sony Alphas. And I'll kind of show you guys this if I can. Like the Sony Alphas, let's, let's, let's kind of show you this. The Sony Alpha has fixed lens or uh mirrored lenses that you can take off and change interchangeable lenses guys so like i have stacks of lenses that i use so not a big deal but so the zv1 is a very good camera and i'm going to show you guys a video justin actually did a video but it has a directional mic for clear sound it has the multi-interface shoes guys has the easy accessible movie record button if that's what you guys need or the background defocus the background defocus is great for products i'm not sure what that is about but we're going to kind of show you guys this video that justin did here i'm going to pop this up that is not the one i want i want the Sony ZV-1. So I'm this. here with a little record Oops. recording test. Hold on. Why is that popping up? This did not pop up properly. Here we go. So now you guys should be able to see this right now. Between how the video looks and the microphone sounds on the Canon EOS M50, and then the next video clip is gonna show you the same type of video of this car with the Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera. So I'm showing you various distances to show you the zooming and the focusing of the Canon. You can see the Canon has a little bit slower of an autofocus and you know the lens can get you pretty close up but it's certainly not a macro lens. But you can see how it blurs out a little bit when you go in and out manually. The autofocus has a little bit of a hard time catching up. It takes a little bit of time. This is the microphone from the Canon EOS M50. Again, I'll pull into this little race car here. Pull out. See the autofocus trying to catch up with me. About there's the best distance. It starts getting blurry. So as you guys see, Justin showing you the comparison that, between the Canon EOS M50 and, and the ZV-1. And this is the video from the Canon EOS M50. And now I'll switch over and do the same type of recording with the Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera. And you can see it has the windsock right on top of the microphone there. Guys, so, also make sure to enter our $5 giveaways. Microphone recording from the Sony ZV-1 in again. comparison to the Canon EOS 50, which you just saw. Here's As you guys can see, the autofocus is much yeah, clearer on the ZV-1. It doesn't get blurry the like the other one. 50. The autofocus is fairly fast. You can actually it's get actually a pretty lot cool. closer. The default lens lets you get a lot more macro-like. You can definitely get a lot closer and more focused with the ZV-1. In the Canon EOS M50 with the default lens. Yeah, so monitoring can actually be a pain sometimes. A microphone is a dual channel microphone. Like when it's we do Twitch, it's a headache. Top, so <laughs> we'll have to play back and see if the microphone is better on the ZV-1 than on the Canon EOS M50. But this is the first video test recording with the Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera, which is a product camera. And just zooming in some products. Yeah, you're going to have trolls everywhere you stream. It doesn't matter. There's out always a troll. In comparison to the... Canon EOS M50, which was at the earlier video here. So as you guys seen, Justin did us a little comparison for that very, very cool product that works very well. If you guys have any questions about the ZV-1, please ask. Uh, Mrs. Dragon Blogger might be able to answer. If not, I can probably answer a good amount since I have several Sony Alphas laying next to me.
Yeah, he was. She's just trying to troll. He probably just now learned that the there's live streams. It happens. Yeah, you can definitely take the ZV one anywhere and do live. So I will kind of show you this if I can. The same with the ZVE10. I actually have the Sony Alpha ZVE10 right here. This is a very, very phenomenal camera. It does all that good stuff, but it has a few extras that the ZV1 doesn't have. Let's see if I can put this back down without dropping this. Ah. Nope, don't fall. Not wanting to get in my... All right, I knew I shouldn't take it out. <laughs> yeah, they're both very, very phenomenal cameras, guys. Uh, I actually have the Sony Alpha 5000, the ZV-E10. Justin has actually two of the Z Sony ZV-1s that they use on stream. So everything you see on stream on Sundays is from the ZV-1s. Very, very cool camera. Next product, guys, is uh, the Sony WH-1000XM4s. This is their wireless headset. I will kind of show you guys this on video. Our buddy Merle did this for us. So Today we have a pair of over-the-ear headphones from Sony, the model WH-1000XM4. Hey, thanks for the follow. Uh, this adventures. is going to come with both Truly Google Assistant that. and Alexa compatible built-in. This is a wireless headset. It is Bluetooth compatible, and it has had noise canceling All 30 hours of battery features. life. So let's go ahead and get this open, see what we got going on. Now to get the most out of it, there is an app to help that runs this headset. You can install that on both I, I, iOS's and Android devices. And we have our instruction manuals one out in there. Here we have a really, really nice cloth case. It's a semi-hard. Yeah, if you guys ever want to work with us, go to dragonblogger.com uh, and, and contact page. I love how the zipper tucks in there. We're always looking for content creators. We, if you guys know us, we, we do a lot of content. The gem. I think Ooh, we've done about nice 1,900 videos on Amazon uh, this year a alone. extra headset uh, connection for wired connection while on airplanes. And... There's the connectors for that. So we got a standard hey, 3 .5, audio jack. 3.5. We've got a USB, USB, -C. USB C charger, which these are going to be charged through USB C. And a unique folding design. I think I've seen that folding design. Right off the bat, this is very soft. That feels real plush. And. Over here we have our custom setting, our power setting. That's our audio jack, and there's our C charger. Um, and according to this diagram here, on the right ear headset, even though you can't see anything on this side, so it's a touch pattern without being those are actually going to be your touch controls. So we're going to get this charged up, uh, read through the instructions, <laughs> yeah, so and then we can... You guys are uh, wanting Merle is actually Mrs. Dragon, Dragon Blogger's brother. Get this the other way. This way. There I went ahead and to, went to the Google Play Store, and I downloaded the Sony Headphone Connect. Let's go ahead and open hey, good up morning. the phone app. And let's go ahead and set this up. course read through everything you sign now, usually i don't show the whole videos because sometimes it gets boring but we're going to kind of show you this because it actually so does show you the app for the headset and since since the headset is around i believe 340 348 dollars right, you might want to know a little more about it before getting it and we're going to go ahead and power our headset on And we're going to, while we're using the set, the device is powered <laughs> on. Go ahead, next. Connecting. 
I got to get rid of this allergy infection or sinus infection. Drive me nuts. And allow. So this will let the app control the headset itself. And we're going to go ahead and pair that. Okay, and we'll do that. We'll sign in later. Adaptive sound control. That's pretty cool. All right, and we have adaptive sound control options. We have okay. You can register. You can sign in to track your activity. And next. And we'll do that later as well. Um, yeah, we'll set that up later. I see so the dash dashboard. <laughs> There's our update information. All right. Now I guess it's time to get these uh, a good listen to. All right. So I've been using the Sony WH-1000XM4 headphones for a while. Now, I use the mobile regular, just straight up Bluetooth, and they were a pretty good headset. They have a really, really good noise canceling, and they had some really powerful features. But to get the most out of um, this headset, you're we will really going to want to use the actual right after uh, this video. Or Sony Connect. Dragon Log or now, the reason the being is, if you allow it, it will recognize what settings you're using where. So if you go to the library, if you go to school, if you go on the bus or whatever, it will recognize when you were That's making cool. certain changes to the headset and will start making those automatically. Now, that's one of the big powerful things about the app. Now, the headset itself, Thank you. very, very you lightweight. Go to that link it's right easy there to forget you kind of, you're wearing it, especially the noise canceling, it is active. A lot of noise canceling headphones will just say, hey, noise canceling, and they will count on the padding, the seal, to do everything. That's not the case with these. So as you guys seen, we're going to pop over. We're going to talk about this. So what he's saying about is the noise, uh, noise active canceling means it actually has outward microphones that pick up the outside sound and it actively takes the sound out by uh, blocking it with the actual speaker itself, which is actually very cool. But I believe in the app, it can also do the opposite where like if you want it to pick up the outside sound, you can actually hear like if let's say you're in a trains, uh, train uh, depot or an airport, you can actually turn it on so you can uh, it'll magnify the, like what you're hearing so it can pick up the stuff. Which is actually really, really cool. I actually have a few sets of earbuds, including the Samsungs, that do that. And in the app, you have to work with it on the app. I have some Tozos where you actually just tap it and it will turn it on and it'll work with that also. So any questions about the Sonys, please ask and we will try to answer. Now just remember, our uh, friend Merle was the one that had hands on with that. So he would know a lot more about that headset than me. The next product, guys, is something that I've uh, been messing with for about a week or so now, and that is from Zeker. This is their P10 or their AP10 uh, rugged smartphone. Now, rugged smartphone. Oh, right on, man. So the rugged smartphone is a, has its own built-in case, right? Own screen protector built in. This has a 108 megapixel back camera. If you guys see how big and round that is. That is a 108 megapixel camera. It has dual 8 megapixel smaller cameras for wide and depth. It also has a 8 megapixel front facing camera. Now I'm going to unlock my pin real quick and kind of show you guys this. This is full HDR guys. Nice bright screen. I actually have the coloration down and we'll turn it all the way up for you guys. As you guys can see a very, very bright screen. Now, this is a large uh, battery. This has a 6,000 milliamp battery, guys, and it is a wireless charging phone. So it can charge wirelessly through this case that it has built in. 
which is very, very cool to me. I love that you can do that. Now, this is Android 11. It is a six and a half inch screen, full HD plus, dis uh, plus display. Now, it is six uh, gigabytes of DD uh, GDR with uh, 108, 128 gigabytes hard drive built in. They do support endoscopy, guys. So you, if you guys need that, it supports the endoscopy apps. All right, no problem. So now a few of the other things this can do. This actually has a night vision camera. So this can actually do night vision and record in the dark, which I've tested out. I have not done the video for that part yet, but we will have that up for you guys soon. The one thing that most people kept asking about this phone is, is will it play games? I downloaded Genshi uh, Impact, if you guys know what that is. That is like a graphic game, like a fighting game, which is actually a very large game. It was something like 30-something gigabytes or something like that. It took a while to download, but it plays phenomenally on this phone. <coughs> uh the spin uh we are not giving the drone away the drone is not being given away the spin to win is for random uh steam games or a uh, key to win a gift card at the end of the month if you do not win anything the link that we are posting in chat is for two five dollar gift cards at the end but we have multiple of other gift uh, giveaways going on, including, I believe, a, a Bedshire Sherpa uh, throw blanket thing. Yeah. So, as you guys see, the game is just loaded. There is the link for the gift cards, guys, right? And it takes a little bit to re-register. Hey, I appreciate it. So, yeah, the drone we're not giving away, but... We have lots of giveaways going on on multiple channels of ours. We will actually have many, many more giveaways coming also. So I'm not going to load this game all the way because it will take a little bit since it's such a large game. Now, a lot of the other stuff that this can do is, let's see if I can pull this up. Where is it? Trying to find it, guys. Just one second. Deny that. Outdoor tools. So, this has a lot of outdoor tools. Like, uh, it can do a uh, plumb bob, uh, barometer, pedometer, sound meter, uh, protractor, alarm bell, magnifier, height meter, uh, hanging, uh, hanging paintings. So it can like do like laser leveling, so it can help you uh, hang a painting level. It's got compass, uh, gradener, and flashlight. Now the cool thing about like the sound meter, I can pick up the decibels of how loud I'm talking or how loud it is around me. All that stuff is built into this camera, which is or this phone, which is actually to me is pretty phenomenal. It has that much stuff. Now we're going to talk about a few things about this phone though. If you guys are looking at this phone to pick it up, just make sure to do an IMEI uh, confirmation with your carriers, guys, to make sure it works. Now, to tell what the IMEI of your phone is, just uh, go to the dial pad, dial star pound, zero six pound, and your IMEI will pop up and show you what it is. Now, we went through many uh, carriers to test this out. So, so far we know that it will work on T-Mobile, Mint Mobile, Consumer Cellular, Metro Mobile, and that is so far is all we know. I have tested this on Cricut. It won't work on Cricut. It's a different type of technology, and it won't work on Verizon. Uh, the widget should be working for mobile, and it should be working for almost everything. Oh, it's actually Cheech and Chong. <laughs> Cheech and Chong run uh, the bear. I appreciate that. And so any questions about this phone, guys? The one thing is, is this is full waterproof, right? This is a uh, fully waterproof uh, phone. 
That means you can actually go swimming with this into about 1.8 meters of water for about 30 minutes. So you can, in water about five to six feet, guys, you can leave this in there for 30 minutes. It will be fine. Just remember the depth goes down farther. It will actually, the pressure may affect it. You can drop this from about seven feet, or if you guys want, just like that, chuck it around. It is not going to break. You know, you're not going to break this foam. It is, uh, that's why it's rugged. It's actually pretty strong, which is kind of cool. It is also dust proof. Now, just make sure if you guys use the port down at the bottom to charge this. It does have a USB-C charging port. It also has a 3.5 millimeter jack for headphones that you put the plug back in fully tight and firm or it will not stay waterproof. So that plug is going to save your phone. So any questions about the phone, please ask, guys. We're going to do a water test. I'm going to actually throw this in my bathtub for 30 minutes. They claim that you can record video underwater with this. So we're going to try that. We're going to chuck it in the bathtub. We're going to, it's too cold out to go swimming. All the lakes and rivers are froze over around here. So I can't do that. But we're going to definitely throw it in the bathtub. We're going to try it and we're going to see what it can do on video. So if you guys have any questions, please ask. I will answer as best as I can. <laughs> no ice fishing. I don't ice fish. Uh, unfortunately, I don't ice fish. So. There's no way for me to do that. <laughs> it would be cool if I could, but I don't ice fish. So I tried to get it down into the lake yet of the yesterday or the day before, but I it was a little too cold for me to stick my hand in. I was not holding my hand underwater for a while. Not going to happen. So if you have no questions about that, we will actually move on to the next couple products. I, you know, I've fished, but I have never ice fished. I've actually played on the ice out here, but I just, I don't have ice fishing. So the next product, guys, is the new product that I'm actually, you guys are seeing me from. This is the OpsBot Tiny PTZ 4K web camera. This is an AI powered web camera. I have the box here, guys, inside the box, and we'll pull this open and kind of show you guys this. This is 4K at 30 frames per second, so it can do that. Inside the box is, of course, another box. <laughs> What's inside the other box? If we can get this open without too much of a fight, it is a tight fit, so I had to fight to get this out. I'm not scared of falling through the ice. The ice is actually rather thick up here. So we they just called iced out. So we are iced out finally. Instruction manual. If you guys need the instruction manual, most of you probably won't. Inside the box, of course, is what? Let's show you. Another box. <laughs> All right, so you actually have a carrying case, guys. Inside the carrying case, if you guys need the carrying case, just unzip it, take it with you, put the camera in here, guys. It has, it's a full carrying case. But I'm actually using the camera, so I'm going to show you the other one. They are identical in certain things. So this is your AI tracking camera. What's in the box? My favorite line. Yeah, what is in the box? Several boxes. Yes, so the 4K capability is very, very cool, and it can auto-zoom up to four times instead of the two times. So it's just pretty much it's identical to this, but when you pop it up, it's got a, a little bit larger of the lens, and the lens is red instead of just black. It's, you know, you still have the two-axis gimbal, the multi-rotating plus the magnetic base, but if you guys need a tripod, it'll work in tripod, right? You have the magnetic base that can clip over your monitors, just very easy, very simple, and then clip it on. If you guys want the cameras to shut off, and I'm kind of showing you guys both of these cameras at the same time since this is the PTZ Tiny, 
and the other one is the 4K. If you do not want it to shut, or if you want it to shut off automatically without hitting the button, just point it down. And I'll kind of show you guys this, point it down. It'll actually shut off. You guys should be seeing a black screen. And now when I put it back on, it should come back on and work perfectly. The one thing I'm going to suggest, as you guys can see, it should pop back up. The one thing I'm going to suggest is, this is USB-C to USB-C plug, right? So the cord is a USB-C to USB-C. They do give you an adapter for the USB-C to USB-A or USB 2.0. If you use that adapter, make sure to use the other plug. There is a separate power plug on the back, guys. With the round plug, it is a DC 5 volt. Use that plug because that plug will stop it from flickering or power flickering and all of that jazz. I love this camera. Now, since I use both of these, these are uh, kind of things that I, will, I can answer if you guys have any questions. If not, I'm going to kind of try and show you guys this uh, in a second. I'm going to pull this up and show you a few things here. So... Right here is the app for the PTZ. The PTZ can actually do tap lock if you want it locked or if you want a gesture control so it can follow you everywhere you want, right? Or you tap lock, it shuts off. If you want to put it in sleep, you can put it in sleep. You can manually do this. Or if you want to zoom, you have four times zoom. As you guys can see, you can get up to my really gray beard and see it at four times zoom. It does do four times zoom which the other did not. Now, let's see if I can actually show this also, which I don't think I can. I wished I could. It won't let me show you the other half of the app. So, part of this app is not seen on screen, and then the other part of this app will actually let you change the gesture controls. So, I'm going to close that screen. So, gesture controls, you can actually do gesture control like this over here, and you guys can see it's actually zooming in and back out if you guys really want you know it'll zoom back out for you just like that or you can do gesture control target lock where if you do a gesture it'll lock on the target for you it has several uh, styles of gesture control locks which we're going to cancel that right then you have tracking mode you have standard Headroom or motion. So if you wanted to uh, follow your head, it'll follow your head. Standard, it follows your whole body. Motion, it'll follow motion. It'll see any type of motion and it'll follow it. It does have anti-flicker, 60 hertz, 50 hertz are off. It, this, The difference between this and the other one is it does have HDR, which means it has the high depth resolution to change it to the 4K automatically. Then you also have autofocus with this one. So it does, that's also another difference. It has the autofocus built in. So you can click it to autofocus and it'll autofocus and focus on whatever you want by auto doing it. I shut that off. You also have preset position, initial position, global hotkeys, or they also offer a remote control. So it's a very, very full, uh, camera and app now some of the other things i'm going to talk about with the app is it can actually control more than one obsbot camera so with the app if you have let's say one two or three cameras hooked up you can control all of those cameras at the same time so again guys any questions about the obsbot tiny ptz 4k or the obsbot tiny ptz web camera ai powered one Please ask and we will answer. Both very great uh, cameras. You know, you have two different price ranges, guys. $269 for the 4K or $199 for the 2K or the normal uh, 1080p one. But both work great. The AI tracking is so smooth that it'll keep track of you no matter what. Very, very good. Any questions about those two web cameras, please ask and we'll answer. Next one. I believe that's Mrs. Dragon Blogger. Uh, it is actually, uh, I believe, five degrees outside right now. So by morning, tomorrow morning, where I'm at, it's supposed to be minus six. 
with the wind chill, it's supposed to feel like minus 23. <laughs> so tomorrow morning is going to be very, very cold. And then Friday night into Sunday morning, I am supposed to have anywhere from 18 to 20 inches of snow dump on me with 30 mile an hour winds. So <laughs> I'm in shorts. I will be heading outside after the stream to go to the store in shorts. I'm in shorts all year. I shovel snow in shorts. <laughs> yeah, I'm in shorts all year round. I don't, I own pants, but I don't wear them. I'm uh, still in flip flops. <laughs> uh, except for today, I got socks and uh, house shoes on. Uh, dude, I I work in my shorts. All right, guys. So the next product is also from Obsbot. This is another another great product, guys. This is their Obsbot Emmy. This is for your phone. It's an AI tracking, uh, little like gimbal for your phone. This thing is very very cool. It's just as smooth as the cameras, the that the web cameras that we're using. Uh, but you can use it for your phone. <laughs> instruction manual. If you guys need the instruction manual, they give it to you. I, I don't need it. So, And inside the box, of course, you guys, you have another carrying case. And this one is actually kind of cool. They give you the carrying case. So you pop it open. You guys can see Obspot. But inside here is the device. You'll have the charging cord. If you guys need the charging cord, it is USB-C to USB. But the charging cord does two different things. And I'll kind of show you guys that in a second. The second is it fits in here tight, so you actually have a little mini tripod. Right here on this tripod, you have the 1 8 uh, screw, which can actually be used. Let's kind of show you guys this. So, this little tripod, if you want to use it for the web camera, guys, right? Just screw it onto your web camera, and it'll work on the web camera too. So, if you guys need that, it can be, you can do that. Next is the device itself, as you guys can see. Yeah, this is really, actually really cool. This is the little device, but inside this device, right, guys, you'll need to spin this to pop it out. There you go. There's your camera. This camera right here is only used to track you. USB-C, right? We'll kind of do this. Screw it on. Now, if you guys want to use it as a handheld gimbal, go ahead and do that, right? If not, let's power it on. You guys can see the blue light come on. And it will actually try to track me hey, over here. And it'll kind of follow you. But as it's seeing the camera, you guys can see this. So it will follow you just like that. It will fit phones, large phones, guys. Fit it with no problem. Once you're on, you guys can go live just like this. If you want to do TikTok videos, Instagram Live, Facebook Live, Amazon Live, you can use it from this to do that. And it will, it will track you, which is very, very cool. I love it. If you guys want to go and it also swivels. If you guys need to change it, it will swivel any direction you want. It will keep spinning as much as you need. I love this device. This device is cool. It works very, very well. I have videos of it working. And then it breaks down. Put it away. Back in the case. Just like that. Put it back in the hard shell, right? And then you're good to go. I love it. Very, very cool product. And at $149, I believe this is like a steal. This product is very, very handy for content creators. <laughs> yeah. 84. Yeah, that's pretty warm. <laughs> uh, any questions about any of the products that we showcased today, guys? If not, make sure to enter this giveaway because we will be picking out two $5 winners very, very soon. 
Uh, I, I like warm weather, but I don't like too warm a weather. I, I don't have a problem with cold weather either. It does, weather just doesn't bother me. I lived in Oregon for most of my life and I love rain. I will play in the rain all day long. <sighs> and then I moved back to New England where it is extremely cold. So guys, any questions about any of the products, please ask. If not, we are about to give away to $5 gift cards. Let me know if you guys are all entered. Just remember, you got to be here live to accept them. I, I am like a little child. I will do donuts all day long out in the snow. <laughs> Sliding around corners and stuff. So. If not, let's get ready to give away some stuff. Let's do some $5 gift card giveaways, right? Hopefully you guys are all ready for this. Uh, not, I, I'll do it. I do it up at my, uh, where I hang out up at the car audio shop. I'll do it out in my own parking lot. Yes, I will be streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be doing my deal stream. I will actually be streaming Friday and I believe I'm streaming Saturday. So I'm pretty much streaming the rest of the week. Yeah, see, I'm not from a really cold state. So, I mean, Oregon gets cold, but it doesn't get really cold like New England. So I moved up here and I was in shorts and I didn't have a problem with it. Oh, no problem, buddy. If not, guys, we're about ready to pick a winner. So, if you guys are all ready, we are going to pick our first winner. Give me a whole bunch of readies in chat and let me know. Yeah, Mrs. Dragon Blogger loves the heat. She does not enjoy the cold. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to pick our first winner right now. Let's see who won. Velazar P. Velazar, are you in chat? Velazar, are you in chat? If not, we have to redraw. You guys have like 40 seconds to claim. I do not know. I cannot tell who's on there or not. It is all Gleam. So if you uh, click the link and entered, you're on there. Where is Velazar? I don't think Velazar is here, guys. I think Velazar popped off. Yeah, you should be there, Lori. 10 seconds, I redraw, guys. So, if Velazar doesn't answer... There's Velazar. <laughs> he locked in by the tip of his teeth. <laughs> All right, Velazar, contact me at dragonblogger.com. You know the deal. Contact me at dragonblogger.com and we will get you that gift card right away. Congrats, buddy. That was like really, really close. <laughs> yeah. That was really close. All right, guys. If you guys. Yeah, it, it, he was close. Close to the uh, reroll. He had like one second before I rerolled. All right, guys. Now we're going to pick a second winner. Uh, make sure you guys are entered. If you guys are ready, just let me know. And we'll re-roll a second winner. So. Uh, yeah, but that was pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was pretty good that he popped in right there. All right, guys. If you guys are ready, let's re-roll. We're re-picking the winner, guys. Uh, renamed Loser, are you in chat? I don't think uh, renamed uh, is still here. Is renamed still here? Let's see. I don't think he's here. 
I haven't seen him chat in a few. All right. Oh, no, nope, there you go. He must have been watching from Twitch also. <laughs> uh, Rename, you know how to do it. Contact me, Dragon Blogger, buddy. <laughs> you don't even need it. You know how. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Thank you. For, uh, that is our giveaways for today. Depending on tomorrow's stream, guys. Yeah, delay is killing me also, and I'm not sure why. I believe it's a restream issue. Tomorrow, guys, I will be back same time with my deal stream. Tomorrow, I will also be giving away two more $5 gift cards. And depending on the amount of people that show up, I will actually be doing a giveaway for a mystery box. So if we have a good turnout, guys, um, like... 50 or more people, I will actually do a mystery box and we will actually do a mystery box giveaway on top of the two $5. So I actually have a lot of product. My closet is like so full that we have to downgrade some stuff. So we will, it depending on, I don't, if it's a small turnout, you know, just depending. So guys, again, tomorrow I will be doing my deal stream same time as today. Two $5 gift cards, depending on size of the crowd, we'll do a mystery box all through the same link. Uh, we have a nice, a lot of nice products to give away if I do give away stuff. So hopefully you guys all have a great day. We'll see you guys all later and have a good one.